Hello, William here again, and welcome back to my workshop. Now this week, uh, I'm going to be completing uh, the third instalment of the Laburnum Trio um, pieces which I've been turning, and hopefully it's going to be uh, a box. Now, the shape for this box isn't my idea at all. I uh, acquired it, or was inspired by uh, Wayne Clasper, who has turned out uh, a great number of items over the Covid lockdown period. Now the piece of laburnum that I have is uh, it's a very old log. It's um, got some checking in each end. It's a pretty irregular shape and it's got to be squared up. And I'm anticipating once it's uh, trimmed up we're going to have something about 10 by 5 or 5.5 five inches uh, which to play with. Okay then, so off camera I've trimmed this outside with a chainsaw rather than put it on a bandsaw. Having previously had a couple of negative experiences trying to cut a log on a bandsaw. Uh, so yes, it's squared off. Um, I've got something as expected about 10 inches by a maximum of five and a half inches at the narrowest part. Now I'm going to find the centres of each end and mount this on the lathe. When I say the centres, it's going to be the centre of the heartwood, not of the log. There's still a lot of punky sapwood here. Okay, that's it roughed out and I've got that beautiful brown and golden colour that's so familiar with aged laburnum. Um, but, as anticipated, there is one quite large crack here. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to put some CA glue in here now and uh, let it sink down as far as possible um, in hoping it's going to stay intact. Um, Okay, uh, one second on the video has in fact been 28 days in real time. I don't quite know what happened is it to uh, December, it seemed to have disappeared somewhere. Anyway, I'm back. Uh, since the CA glue in the crack now has had 28 days to cure, I think it should be safe enough to carry on. Okay, I'm just going to mark off where the spigots are going to go on both ends. <laughs> I've cleaned both of the pieces up. Now I'm going to mount the chuck on there with the gripper jaws in and turn the base. Okay. 
I think one of the first things I've got to do is to turn off this crack here and actually find out how deep it goes. I'm going to be getting quite close to the jaws so I need to be very careful. side down now to 240. I'm now going to blow it out with the airline. I'm going to clean up the pores using some methylated spirits then um, apply Yorkshire grit and Yorkshire grit microfine. <laughs>
Okay, I'm very happy with that finish there with the Hampshire Sheen High Gloss and the Hot Air Gun Method. It never fails me. Okay, a quick update, off camera I have finished the inside of the lid in exactly the same way as I finished the inside of the pot. Okay, so what I need to do now is just marry the two uh, parts back on uh, the lathe together and finish off the outside. Okay, so I'm going to use some frog tape, if I can find the end, to ensure there is tightest possible fit. Bring up the tail stop. Hopefully that will give it enough grip so that I can turn the outside as one item. One thing I didn't do was to line the grain up first, I should do that.
Okay, having sanded this uh, down to 240 grain, it's come out very nicely, uh, I hasten to add. I'm going to just wash the grain out with some meths and then apply three coats of pre-thin sanding sealer. If anybody doubts the value of cleaning out the grain with methylated spirits or denatured alcohol, that's what comes out even after a blasting with an air hose. Okay, I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to dry off. Then I'm going to denib it with 0000, zero, zero, zero grade wire wool because I can't find my 3M scrubber and then apply two more coats the same. Okay, so there we have it then, the lidded pot in laburnum, which is the final piece uh, in my series of the laburnum trio. Now, thanks again to Wayne Clasper for the idea for the shape of this particular piece. Now, Wayne's was a little bit more elegant, and uh, he called it a box. This is a bit short and squatter, uh, and a bit more rustic, so I'm going to call it a lidded box. Okay. Uh, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you again soon.